Hey there, thanks for joining us for our latest deck creation. Uh, we are going with our enchantment based deck today. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while. And uh, now that I'm over my unicorn overlord addiction, I can start focusing again. It's getting a little dry making decks just because the meta is a little stale. But with the new set coming out soon, it should uh, inject some more deck ideas. So. Let's go over what we have here and uh, have a little discussion. Starting off with Circle of Confinement. One white, one other for an enchantment. When Circle of Confinement enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls with mana value 3 or less until Circle of Confinement leaves the battlefield. Whenever an opponent casts a vampire spell with the same name as a card exiled with Circle of Confinement, you gain 2 life. Uh, the vampire component of this card is rarely used. Um, it is definitely for the cheap creature extraction. Uh, when you have your naturalist out, this is a one casting cost enchantment, which um, when the game rolls on, that's the kind of stuff that really racks up your creatures fast and keeps the game under control cheaply. Ossification. One white, one other. Enchant basic land you control when ossification enters the battlefield exile target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls until ossification leaves the battlefield This card's fantastic um, The ability to not have limitations on any size creature and or planeswalker um, Makes this a really powerful card for cheap They drop your Italies, they drop your Adora your Atraxas Ossification just says it's mine now. No recursion. It's not going to the graveyard. It's just sitting over here, uh, not being a problem. Um, the one problem with this deck, though, is definitely look out for Farewell. If you see a person playing white and they seem to be using a lot of exposable to expendable tokens, um, beware of those board wipes. They can really turn the game around. Spirited Companion. One white, one other. Enchantment creature. Dog. For a 1-1. When Spirit of Companion enters the battlefield, draw a card. Uh, again, an enchantment. Again, that's a body. And it draws you a card. Uh, great card all around. It's too bad I couldn't have four. Uh, but we had to make uh, concessions to be able to get the cards in that we did. It's always a joy to get this card. Drawing cards is fun. Jukai Naturalist. One green, one white. For a 2-2 enchantment creature, human monk, lifelink. Enchantment spells you cost. Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Well, everything in this deck's an enchantment. So when he comes out, it is a great benefit to you. Uh, your opponent will go after him with great aggression, especially since you don't have a whole lot of creature cards in your deck. That means a few creature cards that do come out. You usually see the wrath of your opponent. It's not such a big deal to lose him. The deck can handle it without it, but he is a nice bonus to making everything much quicker. One white, two other, borrowed time enchantment. When borrowed time enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent opponent controls until borrowed time leaves the battlefield. Um, takes any permanent. It's a great card for uh, when people put out artifacts or enchantments. Uh, that you can't handle, you just go and take them. Uh, I mean, creatures, planeswalkers, and all that stuff is obvious. You want to go for that stuff. But this allows you to take out anything else that could be problem uh, causing. The Restoration of Iganjo. Uh, Saga. One white, two other. Uh, its first ability on the first turn you cast it, search your library for a basic planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Very useful when you need to draw a card, a uh, basic land for ossification. At second ability, which is the turn after you've cast it, you may discard a card. When you do, return target card with mana value two or less from your battlefield to the to, from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. There are lots of two casting cost options here. My favorite is almost always the naturalist, bringing it back into play for throwing out some piece of junk. Many times the land you drew. Uh, it's third ability, exile the saga when you. Then return to the battlefield transformed under your control. And it comes back as an Architect of Restoration. 3-4 Vigilance. When Architect of Restoration attacks or blocks, create a 1-1 colorless spirit 
creature token, which feeds everything about this deck. Uh, Nether enchantment makes it uh, makes creatures as it blocks or blocks or attacks, which can take uh, more benefit being spirit creature, uh, spirit creature tokens. Wedding announcement, another staple for white. Uh, one white to weather enchantment at the beginning of your end step put invita invitation counter on wedding announcement if you attack with two or more creatures this turn draw a card otherwise create a one one white human creature token then if wedding announcement has three or more invitations counters on it transform it, it becomes wedding festivity creatures you control get plus one plus one um, against red this is a very very effective card gets those chump blockers out there gives your creatures plus one plus one um, which means when you start making your spirit tokens, uh, it can sometimes put them out of reach for red to efficiently handle. And red is the test for this deck. It's so fast. If you can't maintain control uh, the first three or four turns, red's probably going to overrun you. So cards like this stall the game, slow it down, let you get your answers out. Seal from Existence. Two white, one other enchantment with a ward three. When Seal of Existence enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Seal of Existence leaves the battlefield. So it's like Borrowed Time, only it has Ward 3 on it. So targeting it is much more expensive for anybody who wants uh, what you're hiding behind it. And again, it has all the options in the world. You can go for anything that's a permanent. Undergrowth Recon. 2 green, 1 other for an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Um, this is a flex spot. <clears throat> if you wanted to replace with something else, this would be the card. This card re uh, works very well with Cabaretti Courtyard. It recycles your land over and over again each turn. Um, not the most powerful card, but I did want to get an enchantment in. Um, the permanent removal we have here is a lot already, so we don't necessarily need uh, more. Um, so this this is just a flex spot. It worked well. Uh, you know, use your own judgment. Tribute to the World Tree. Three green enchantment. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card if its power is three or greater. Otherwise, put two plus one plus one counters on it. This card can turn your deck from trailing behind and put it way ahead again it's an enchantment so it'll activate our hollowed haunting but it also allows you to draw cards so if you have a wedding announcement out say and it's already giving everything a plus one plus one this will start drawing cards which you know say you got the naturalist it's a three three when it comes out draw a card if not it makes them beefier so that'll become a three three that'll become a four four wedding announcement tokens become three threes um get a couple of these out here you'll start drawing cards beyond your opponent's ability to handle so they're very useful and then the star of the deck hollowed hunting two white two other enchantment as long as you control seven or more enchantments creature you control have flying and vigilance whenever you cast an enchantment spell create a white spirit creature token cleric creature token with this creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of spirits you control so bringing in spirits, spirits, they get bigger, they get tougher. And then once they get the flying and vigilance, when you get seven enchantments out, it's pretty much always over. There's not too many decks I know that can handle this uh, once it gets rocking. Um, so you always want four. You want as many of these out as possible. And uh, just start racking up those tokens. If you have to, you play defense until you almost have lethal. And then you just attack in one turn and kill it. Case of the Locked Hot House. One green, three other for an enchantment. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. To to solve, you control seven or more lands. If unsolved, solve at the beginning of the end step. Solved, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands and cast creature and enchantment spells from the top of your library. This card uh, I, initially I had four of them um, I found that it was just too much uh, you, oftentimes you just sit there and wait to try and get to the land and until you get to the land uh, which is seven and it's not much more than just an enchantment sitting there doing nothing um, but when it gets solved 
Uh, the ability to play creature cards and enchantments from the top of your library essentially allows you to play everything from the top of your library. Playing an additional land each turn means even if you draw a land on the top of your deck, you play it, and you get another one, you can play that too. It it can really end games, especially when you have your hollow haunting out there already, and you're just casting cards off the top of your deck like it's nothing. Um, it's a good card, solid. It was a good addition. Uh, just the ability to keep taking cards off the top of your deck. And then our mana breakdown. Four planes, four forests, two brush lands, because I hate pain lands. Overgrown farmlands, it's got to be. you got to have those dual lands in there. Again, don't like cards that come in tapped, so I minimize the thicket. Uh, two of them, Rustless Prairie. This was an end card sometimes. Um, so the ability to, if you have the Undergrowth Recon, get cards back from your graveyard, so if it died, it wasn't that big a deal. You could come right back. But its ability that when it attacks, uh, all other creatures you control get plus one, plus one in the land of turn, uh, can turn some of your small armies into uh, intimidating armies. So it's a creature that's expensive for two others, one white, one green, to activate. So you'll need essentially this plus four mana. Doesn't leave you too many more options many times, but it can be a good finisher. Cabaretti Courtyard. When Courtyard enters the battlefield, sacrifice it. When you do, search a land for a basic mountain, forest, or plains card. Put that into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle and you gain one life. If you have a recon out there and one of these in the graveyard already, you're just going to cycle through and eventually take all the, the basics out of your deck, which is great. Plus you get a, a free life every turn. It's a nice little combo. It worked really well. Uh, field of Ruin. There's a lot of man lands out there. It's good to have some way to take care of them. Again, if you have the recon out, you can just go back into your graveyard and put it back into play and keep using it. And the Murex. Uh, add for a mana. Add for a, any colored mana if it comes out that turn. And tap three and tap it and produces a 1 1 colorless Phyrexian Might artifact creature token with Toxic One and this creature can't block. Um, it counts as artifacts, uh, it counts as creatures. So, casting the Murex uh, can add to your totals and give you that advantage. Uh, so, there she is, guys and girls. The deck all summed up. Um, it, it, it does have problems with some speed decks if they get out of control. But if you manage to... I mean, you have the ability to get a lot of permanents. No matter what they cast, you can just take it. And again, the only thing you really need to watch out for is Farewell, just because it's a board clear for creatures, graveyards, and uh, enchantments. But if they play just about anything else, uh, you know, most most enchantment removal decks need one-on-one -on -one time. Well, there's more enchantments than most decks are going to be able to handle. And in many cases, you don't care what they take out because you can just replace it easy enough. So check out the deck. Uh, check out the matches. Uh, six wins with this one uh, you know it was a lot of fun so you guys have yourselves a great day thanks for checking this out uh, if you like what you see give me a subscribe put a like on the deck if you happen to think it's a good one and uh, hit that notification bell to catch the next ma uh, next uh, video coming out new set coming out soon so I'm looking forward to that and seeing what new creations we can make have a great day everyone and I'll talk to you soon Later. Hello everyone. Welcome back for some more Magic Arena. Standard rank best of one. Seeing our opponent, Jakey, Jake. I don't mind this start. A little critter if I need him little creature handling if I need it. Let's get the tap out of the way. We got lots of green so we'll go with more white. And the first of hopefully many problems to not be in my way. 
That usually is a sign of a dinosaur deck. Port of Unity. Port in my pocket. Can't let her stay around. Don't want to be a problem, so let's just deal with it now. We'll get the haunting out next turn, and then maybe ossification and companion the turn after that. Depending on what more they put down against us. Which was nothing. Haunting and goes. Planes. Red, green, white, eh? White is utility. No, nope, there goes. Well, I guess we'll just have to see what he's playing. Not usually three color. Uh, well, there you go. Hi. Hope for three. We could do two. We'd have to do that. Some prairie it is. Ossify that hatcher. Oh yes, most certainly. That is a big piece of not happy. And got that land draw out of the way. We can play our two enchantments next turn. So far it is living up to the... The white must be in there for a splash or something. Hello, Carnosaur. Hello, Raptor. Well, he gets whatever he wants next turn. Ah, uh, no, hit me. Bigger and bigger. No flying blockers, or we go. There's a little bit of pressure on you. No, oh, another land draw out of the way. So a tally this turn. That's pretty much the worst he could do, unless he's holding something back. The white has to come into play for some reason. You know, just put basic planes in your deck for no reason. He is looking for something. Well, didn't expect that, I guess. You coming over? Well, the raptor really should die. What else do you have? You. You. Don't want to lose one, but we're going to take it. And then the rest gets through, I guess. Hit me, Seymour. Or did you get one of those big beefy buffs? Been seeing giant growth lately. What I do play. I'm almost near the, the down of my first playthrough on Unicorn Overlord. An RPG. Tactical RPG. I'll probably put a video or two up. You just want to save it. Well, that's fair. You can keep it. Uh, what am I discarding? Where am I going? Just to get a land, right? Well, I guess so. No, I'll get rid of the Tapith. The Tapith land. We don't need it. Courtyard me. I'll take another life. Uh, sure. That's not going to help at all, so it comes as well. Now, this can be 3-3. Three, three. And I'll hit him for 8. Draw a card, but I don't want to. Well, 
Actually, do we have finished? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unless he kills something. Let's see what we got. Oh, we had lethal. Ah, uh, doing math. Mace uh, for positive outcomes. Alright. Yeah. Well, I took the time to think. That helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, catch you guys in the next match. Later. Hello again. More Magic Arena. Standard ranked. Best of one. Mr. Japan. I like going first. I don't like the lack of ossification. We'll keep it though. Get our prairie out right away. And see what their first land is. Oh look, red. How unusual. Thankfully we can still use this. And gobble. Falcon Wraith Wrath Pit Fighter. Borrow that, please. Thank you. Show me new. No, just hit me for the two, right? Well, I don't mind that. Looks like they're mana hindered. Let's get our greens. We can get our world tree out should we need it. And if they play any kind of man land, we can take care of it. Not too often the circle of confinement's second ability pops off, eh? But against red, you'll always want more mana. So that's a good. That and ossify, I guess. To you, my fair planes. To me, my fair pit fighter. Keeping Mr. Japan locked down. Oh, there's his third land. Now it's a creature and a pop buff. That's not a bad thing to get either. No, not bad at all. With the courtyard and the graveyard, I can start recycling land constantly now. Yeah, you're not gonna like this, Mr. Japan. I don't I don't know how you're gonna get out of this one. I don't even care against that. I literally am gonna take it next turn. It is a nice little combo, those two. There was so many options. He's not going to have... Yeah, let's go with the ossify first. Uh, planes. There's nothing else to capture, so we'll just hang it tight. We'll have our seven land this turn. And keep getting life, which has to be making him sad. Don't you go. And you too. Things are already getting out of control for you, Red. Kill that companion. Kill them forever. Oh, you'll be nice next turn. Yeah. Well, I don't have two more. Yes, I have two or more basic lands. You do nothing, Punisher. I'm just gonna keep drawing my happiness. There we go. This game is near done now. Take a white. So, haunting, naturalist, borrow time.
thing give me that punisher please you're all wrapped up seven ways from sunday mr japan do not see a happy ending for you in this i'm actually gaining life every turn now though my land draw will soon start out stop Boom. Yeah. A long time ago. Thanks for checking out this match out. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Later. Morphe. There's a name. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining once again. Magic Arena. Best of one. Standard. Ranked. Pre-releases downtown in one of my comic shops. Comic Hunter. I uh, kind of regret not being able to do that. Prior commitments, though, had to stick with what I already got going. Always, I always like to check the pre-releases out. Sealed is a cheaper way to stay involved with magic without having to keep up with the standard rigmarole all the time. There's a nice little combo, but for now we have to get rid of that veteran. It's just going to make things messy, and we don't want that. So, naturalist, and then try and get the recon. Oh, you're just going to do it to me again, aren't you? Fine. I'm fine with this. Let's go get ourselves a planes. Then play our naturalist, then drop our ossification. I don't like you having the siege veteran I mentioned earlier. Let me reinforce that sentiment. Morphe. Trying to do something, I won't let him. That is something I do not like. Rolling throne. So we're gonna send you to wherever you may roam oh yes you're worth paying for most certainly now let's gain two life while we're at it everything's under wraps morphe i like it tight now the redeemer shall not be redeemed we'll play our recon so we can start generating our land uh cycling and then we'll get the Redeemer under wraps as well, and we'll grab ourselves two more points of life. Two for. It's a nice four point swing. They lose two, I gain two. Sanctuary Ward, another one. This one's a good one, though. This is a very good one. Go for the planes because the El Ganjo is going to come out soon anyway. That's a good card, two cards from now. So let's start getting our options out. You or you? Hmm. No, let's just get more. More, more, more. We got enough life that we can take a couple hits from the Warden. We're going to hopefully draw into something that could just make it not a problem. I'll leave him alone. But I'm better him than my face. Looks like we know what we're going to do next turn. Oh, that's, that's pain. Take it. Take it. Nothing that matters, I suppose, right? Ugh. Dig, dig, dig. Excellent pants. Come here, Warden, Warden, Warden. Uh, I'm tempted to go for the call, but we'll get that next time. Uh, je ne sais pas. 
Which actually I think means I don't know. It fits my foolishness, I guess. Soldiering all over the place. Another veteran. You really want those? emptied oh I can even put that down too does it really matter yeah the naturalist can come out so we'll hold on to that while I build up some defense veteran all over the place Throne would be a good place to put it and make it nice and fat. I'm at the point now where I can start doing stuff, so. Let's see what you got. Morphe. No. Which is fine with me. It gives me more turn, more time to get to what I need. Last plains or last forest. You're a good thing to have. Discard a card, most certainly. Hello, naturalist. The Murex could give me more. Another naturalist never hurts. You're very nice to have. It's you I want. I don't like that tapa 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 thing. Yeah, things just got real, eh? And things got lethal. Held on. Waited till we got what we got. It. Thanks for joining once again. I'll catch you guys in the next match. And uh, you guys have a good one. Bye. Time for some more arena. Standard rank best of one. Tax is my opponent. I wish we had a basic land for the ossification, but we'll keep this mostly because we're going first. They did not like their hand. Tax decides to push it away. Would be nice to get that world tree out without any problems, but that is not to be. Let's give them something to think about. Otherwise, next turn could be fun. Would like to see a land more. Well, look at that. I think the haunting first. We gotta start. I mean, first, it, we get a forecasting cost card out for three, so we're a turn ahead. And I can cast anything else left in my hand now if he takes out the naturalist. And I can use borrowed time now to take that warden of the inner sky away. Or that. I don't like that either. If we just got a basic land, I think I'd be happy where I am. Oh, look at this. 
It is raining joy. More times, gotta get that call. War leader's call is just too ugly. Mm, give me. And now my ossification will give me that warden too. I don't like that either. Give me. And let's get two more life. Swing. Get out one of our tributes next turn. And start working our way in to start drawing cards. Thousandth moon. Couldn't attack. It was going to get his butt kicked. Yeah. I'll pay him. Hmm. Would I trade the naturalist? Let's just send them both over. I'm going to start trying to wear them down. And 10 is a point for which you need to be aware, especially when lethal is now on the board. We're going to take that thousandth moon next turn. Oh, he's going for it right away. Which I'm fine with. I want that thousandth moon. Um, and you can just give me two life. Maybe. No, nope, he has something left in his hand. Well, I'll still get two life. So <laughs> his moon, thousandth moon hangs in there. Oh, key dokey then. No, not yet. Give me a thousandth moon. Oh, wonderful. Confinement. You recruiting. You gone. Couldn't handle it. Not fast enough. Dex running well. Catches on the next match. More Magic Arena time. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Well, we definitely got a creature deck handled, should they be playing one. Blue, eh? Blue, red. Doesn't want to play anything. Then we will play something. Will they let us have it? Alons Y33 E Alons E. Let's attack. There's no point waiting. We're just gonna, or there's no point rushing. We're gonna wait. We're gonna take that thing out next because I don't need any of those running around. Let's see, that was just going to shoot my naturalist head. I put it out there. Oh, you're going to be confined to a very small place very soon. For now, though, you must flee us, and we will go grab ourselves another tree, another forest. So you went with the Island, right? Well, let's go with the naturalist and see what happens. Nothing. Well, you are mine now. Seeds shark. Gobble. Let's draw that card. Get ourselves some more options. Oh, that's a great one. Hallowed haunting is a great one. And he is mort. But while he was here, he was wonderful. Do you have countering ability? Let's see what we got. Well, I didn't do anything with that, so let's see what you got. I was hoping he'd let it through because he didn't stop the wedding festivity. Or wedding invite. Announcement, rather. The words. Now that is going to be a problem. 
five. Can't do anything with that. Let's we'll start throwing some of these out. We'll get our naturalist back. Um, we're going to just start playing a circle of confinements for nothing. Because it's going to just pump our stuff. And maybe we can end it next turn if he can't end it for us. Hello, Celestis. Hello, Forge. You do nothing. You just go kerplunk. Uh, what do we throw away? Confinement. And bring back my naturalist, thank you. Can't do that that way. But I want to because I need to start making things big. And draw those cards. Doesn't matter. Do we have enough yet? No. But if I put one more, that gives me 12. Yeah, I do then. Plus I also get to take his forward done. There you go. Just keep casting. That's another one in the bag. We'll probably go for one more and do our recap. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch us in the next match. Have a good one. Welcome back. More Magic Arena, Standard Rank, Best of One. For Netico, our opponent. Going first is nice. Basic land Rossification is nice. I think we can roll with this. Let's get our farmland out. Tap requirements out of the way. And see what Fernetico has for us. Forest. Yeah, we'll planes it and pass it back to him. Oh, we'll be taking you, Mr. Mana Producer. I can't say I like you. Hollow Haunting next turn. And see what Fern has for us after that. Are we playing Mono Green Dinosaur? No, we are not. Top of his card. No, let's go this way. And see what you have for us in turn four. It is Mono Green. Well, this has been getting really unlucky. Enjoy another land. We can't have you going drawing cards now. Come with us. Now oh, we could draw one more. I suppose I could draw one more land, but then I'd have nothing to ram the graveyard, which I guess isn't that big a deal. Augur of Autumn. Ren and Seven. Well, we know something for our seal of existence to hit. Hmm. Yeah, that's the way we're gonna go. We're gonna make our spirit bigger enough so that we can take the Ren and Seven out. We haven't played a land yet this turn either, have we? And now Ren in 7 has been addressed. What do you have for us now? Hey Fern. What do you think Fern? Click the bat. Click the bear. Bear bat. 
car is deep in the tank. There are some things that the green can bring out to kill enchantments. Most mono greens should play with it. Could you be sitting on something like that? I don't know. He's in the tank though. Or maybe he's just decided that this is enough for him and he's going to go check that coffee out. Too early in the morning. Yeah, Fern. Come on, dude. It's your go. At least go well. Represent. Well, you've represented defeat. You've represented being obstinate. Oh, Fern. You just, well, I mean, you're playing mono green to begin with. I mean, I've seen some decent green decks, but tournament capable. You almost always have to have a good draw. And if you don't get a good draw, you know, there's just so many ways for green decks to lose control. There's no, it's a lot of reactionary stuff, a lot of stuff based on needing creatures in play. And if you stay on top of it and don't let them have it, I mean, even his ability, right? Three or more creatures with different powers. Well, don't let them have it. There you go. So let's get this out. All his hopes are out of the way, and let's just end this. Poof. I guess he knew he was up against it. Well, there you go. That's the enchantment deck. Um, it can get out of control, much like green. If they get too far ahead, you really got to stay on top of your opponent's permanence. But uh, it does have the ability to grab any of them. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Uh, give me a like if you happen to like the deck. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next match. New set coming out this week. So lots of new uh, content hopefully coming. Thanks everyone and uh, have a great day.